Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW X1, guys, E84 generation, guys, and you're trying to find out how to test your purge valve, purge uh, control valve solenoid, guys, if you have called P0443 or P0444, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain how to do that. Quick introduction, guys, doesn't matter <coughs> if you have the four cylinder or six cylinder engine, the procedure will be the same, guys. Now, how you do that, guys? Uh, um, that purge valve can fail in a few different ways and we're going to discuss all that, make sure you stay until the end. Uh, quick introduction to the channel, every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to 300 free repair videos guys and on every BMW we get we make more than four, 500 videos guys provided to you for free. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. And if you need to buy a new purge control valve solenoid or anything like that, we we'll have the links in the description of the video below to see where we order all our parts and tools from. So this one dropped, let me grab it, perfect. So. That purge control valve guys on the six cylinder engine is actually uh, placed under the throttle body. We have the video on the channel, just search for N52, N53 engine for the six cylinder if you want to see where it's located, if you have four cylinder uh, engine video will be coming soon as well guys. So let's explain how the purge control valve, uh, how the purge control valve uh, works guys and uh, what it does. So you guys when you put fuel okay in your gasoline tank guys you, when you add uh, gasoline in your fuel tank what will happen actually it's going to that gasoline will expand it will create fumes vapors and uh, what will happen eventually guys uh, there is a sensor that detects that you have pressure in the fuel tank and it will tell that purge control valve solenoid okay we have enough pressure open so that valve will open and the fuel few uh, fumes and vapors will be injected in the intake manifold of your BMW you guys it will burn through the engine that way your engine guys will not pollute the atmosphere because the vapors will not release in the atmosphere the engine will be more efficient you will uh, not burn as much gas guys and it will give you uh, some more efficiency so that's why it is guys very important component of the EVAP system so now another thing guys that valve it has two wires uh, we're going to connect positive and negative terminal wires okay one positive one negative it doesn't matter you can flip them but it's super important not to touch each other why because if they do you will automatically burn that valve and if you burn it guys it's done you have to get a new one so we get alligator clips those make the job a little bit safer because they have insulation we'll have the link in the description of the video below to see where you can purchase some from we're going to go ahead and connect them guys okay and then you need a 12 volt battery car battery to test it now on certain bmws uh, what is cool guys you have the uh, jumper cables for the us version negative could be applied there positive right there and once you apply positive okay you will hear the valve clicking uh, usually guys that valve should be stuck okay it should be closed guys without applying power if you apply power it should open and you hear a click listen now okay perfect now that doesn't tell us that it's working 100 percent guys you need to get a small uh, uh, low pressure uh, air guys from uh, compressor guys we're going to apply a little bit of air and if the valve is not applied to the power you're not going to uh, you will not have okay air coming out when you apply the air will start coming out listen now so you can see guys when the power is not applied the valve should be closed when you apply power it should open and you gotta make sure that air is floating why because it may make the clicking noise but if the valve itself is uh, uh, is actually damaged guys on the inside it may not open and closes even though it sounds like so always try to run air and see if it's uh, working very low pressure air guys two three pounds of air is enough just to make sure that it's working correctly now uh, another thing check the o-rings check that uh, hose that you have you have one o-ring right there on that connector one more o-ring on the um, on the one that's coming from the fuel tank check that and uh, that should tell you if your purge control valve is good or bad so thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time